Los Angeles, Dodgers outfielder Yasiel Pugh was late to an early batting practice session on Monday, earning him a place on the bench and criticism from his manager for the second time in as many days. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts said, when you show up late for work, there have to be consequences. That was a decision that I think he made, not me, Roberts said. It's the first time Pugh has been benched for tardiness since April 2014, when he overslept on opening day of the regular season. He did not comment on the situation to reporters before Monday's game. The 26-year-old outfielder's latest transgression comes at a bad time. The BESTOF 5 National League Division Series begins a week from Friday. The Dodgers had the Major League's best record at 99-57 through Sunday. While most players are trying to tune up for the postseason or audition for a spot on the NLDS roster, Pugh can't seem to escape Robert's doghouse. Roberts held Pugh out of the starting lineup on Sunday following a controversial play in the ninth inning of Saturday's game against the San Francisco Giants. Pugh was caught stealing second base to end that game, a 21 loss. Afterward, Pugh said through an interpreter that he felt pain in his ankle the moment he was set to slide. He went into the base standing up instead and was tagged out. Roberts called Pugh's actions inexplicable and a bad baseball play. Roberts said that Pugh was never treated for an injury. In his pregame media session Sunday, Roberts stressed the importance of being able to trust every player in his lineup. That night, Pugh received text messages reminding him of the 3 p.m. Monday batting practice. Being tardy can only jeopardize the trust Pugh had earned in a season without controversy. It is very disappointing, but he's made tremendous strides, and he's had a tremendous season, Roberts said. I never like talking about particular players, especially in this context, especially this time of year. This is something that, again, it's unfortunate. All year long he's been great. He and I have talked many times about accountability. This is one of those situations where he has to be accountable. No player has appeared in more games for the Dodgers this season than Puke 147. He hadn't been held out of the starting lineup in back-to-back -back games since May. He has a .259 batting average, .339 on this percentage, and a .474 slugging percentage, while excelling on defense. Puke is expected back in the lineup Tuesday. At this point in time the last thing we all need to be concerning ourselves with is somebody whose sole focus isn't on the ball club, Roberts said. Avalon supports travel ban pitcher Luis Avalon, who is from Venezuela, said he and his family will not be affected by the travel ban announced Sunday by the Trump administration. Among residents of several countries listed, the ban includes certain Venezuelan government officials and their immediate family members who hold non-immigrant business or tourist visas. Avalon said no one in his family is employed by the socialist government led by Nicolas Maduro. The pitcher is one of 65 Venezuelans who were listed on an opening day roster this year. Many have been outspoken about the troubles plaguing the country under Maduro. I'm definitely grateful that this government is doing something against the government of Venezuela, because after 18 years they're still ruling that country and they've taken it to ruins, Avalon said. Turner update third baseman Justin Turner took batting practice for the first time since he was hit on his right thumb by a pitch last Thursday. Turner also practiced throwing on the infield. While he was optimistic that he could return to the lineup Tuesday after missing the past four games, Turner said his focus is on being healthy in time for the NLDS opener on October 6. That's the one that's most important, he said. I don't want to have anything push this thing back. We have the luxury of having some time. Also Turner won the Roy Campanella Award, given annually to the most inspirational Dodger who exemplifies the spirit and leadership of its namesake. Pitcher Hyunjin Ryu played catch and reported a decrease in the swelling in his left forearm. Ryu, who was struck by a line drive in Saturday's game, remains a candidate to start one of the Dodgers' three games in Denver this weekend, Roberts said. He was originally scheduled to start Friday. Veterans Andre Edier and Adrian Gonzalez will both start Tuesday against Padres right-hander Dinelson Lamott and get three or four at-bats, Roberts said. Donations to the web page created by utility player Kike Hernandez totaled nearly half of the stated $100,000 goal as of Monday night. Hernandez, who is from Puerto Rico, created the page Thursday after Hurricane Maria wreaked havoc on the Caribbean island.